Happy Monday, everyone. I love Mondays. I always say this, but I love Mondays. So it's 7, 10 a.m. and I've been up for about 40 minutes or so and I am going to meet my mom to work out. We are going to start lifting together. Sweating. I didn't think I'd be sweating, okay. but I am. Well, we could do more. My hamstrings are already hurting. Mom, how are yours? What? Your hamstrings? Oh, I'm burning. Yeah, they already burn. And now, that's like all of our lifting today. Now we're gonna go do some hit for 20 minutes. I love working out with my mom because she always, like she kicks my ass like every single time. She literally like whips them into shape so quick. I don't know how she gets the workouts that she does or like why. Whenever I work out with her, I die every time. Like she is the best workout buddy ever. Now we're going back to her house um, and I'm thinking about like what I wanna eat and I really, I'm not craving anything right now and whenever I'm not craving something, I'm sort of like at a loss of what to eat because I don't know, I just, I don't really, I don't know what to eat. Oh, what we did at the end, I was hit um, and I'm sure all of you guys know about hit. It's like, a, it's a fad right now. It's a pretty good trend. Um, it's high in high intense interval training. I think that's what it stands for. And um, what we just did was um, 30 seconds of sprinting, 30 seconds of not sprinting for 20 minutes. So a total of, I think we did like 16 or 15 or 16 sprints. I feel like we only did 15, um, but I don't really know. Hungry? Hungry. What would you like? Okay, so I'm craving like an egg white omelet with veggies in it and then veggies on the side. All right, let's see what I have. I really want a, like a dippy egg on to Drew. I kind of want what we had yesterday. Okay, so do that. And there's breakfast. Doesn't look very pretty, but it's gonna taste good. So this is potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And then that's some day-old guac, so it doesn't look too hot, but it's still fire. Um, salsa, corns, bean, and then an egg white omelet with asparagus and broccoli. So I just got my toes done and now I am gonna go get ready for the day. It's 11.15, I don't know where the day has gone. So I'm just slapping on a little bit of makeup. I just showered a little bit. When I say showered, I mean like I did a, uh, Oh, meaning like enough to not smell anymore. So that's good. But I do want to quickly show how I do my hair because I wore my hair like crimpy and wavy to the Future concert. And um, a ton of you guys like asked me how I did it and it's the easiest thing ever. Um, I braid my hair and then I'm gonna 
Spritz it with a little bit of hairspray. Like it's so easy, you guys. This is like seventh grade me, like living again. I stopped doing this hairstyle for like um, five years or so. I literally think the last time I did it was like eighth grade. So, I mean, my hair's still a little wet from my shower last night, which is weird. Because that was over 12 hours ago. Sometimes I dry it with um, a hair dryer, but I guess I don't need to. Shake it all out. And it's sort of fluff. Fluff it a little bit. The other day I put um, beach spray in it. I'm not going to today. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go pull my hair back into a clip. I feel like Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. I have like this thing where I'm hungry all the time, I swear. I think tomorrow I need to go grocery shopping for a few things because I'm out. One banana. I just stuck some raspberries in the freezer, so I'm just going to throw them in there. I am gonna finish off the blueberries. I have some strawberries to also be gone. Some spinach to get my greens in there. And coconut milk, you don't need too much. Once it's all blended up, I just melted some peanut butter in the microwave and I like to drizzle that on there. I don't know why, but it tastes better when it's on it as opposed to in it. Next up, chia seeds. And yes, you did see that right. I literally did just spill chia seeds everywhere. <laughs> then granola, this is my favorite. It's the Love Crunch peanut butter granola. Some of that on there, get those goods on it. And this is the beauty that you get when you're done. Mm -mm -mm. I just woke up from like a three hour nap. Like I don't even know how it happened, but um, I died and I was reborn again. But now I have bar in like, I'm leaving in 20 minutes or so, but I'm hungry. But I really have no food. Like when I say I have no food, I literally mean I have no food. So I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I definitely thought I had food, but I have like none. Like the only thing that I have right now to eat is a veggie burger, so I'm just gonna heat up a veggie burger real quick. Um, I had an orange like 20 minutes ago, but I'm still like hungry from it. I'm not spinning, I'm just doing a bar. I'm just so bad at bar, like I don't think I'll ever be good at it. And I'm okay with being bad at bar. I did put myself on the wait list for the seven o'clock class tonight, spin class, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna get on it, which I'm fine with, but also it also only says 23 bikes instead of 24, so I wonder what happened to a bike. I don't have anything to put on top of this burger like nothing i'm literally just gonna eat it like a plain burger and i think tonight i'm just gonna have rice a sweet potato and beans and corn um because that's all i have and then tomorrow i'm gonna go grocery shopping but yeah it's like upsetting i literally have like no food and my eyelashes look crazy from my nap mm. okay the most unappetizing pre-workout meal ever but I have no food. Currently en route to bar class. Come on, man, it was my turn to go, don't be rude. Some really exciting news I just found out. If you guys are in the Philly area, I highly recommend coming to this. Um, Soul Beat paired up with Buster Scrine. He is a New York Jet and he does events for charity. So we teamed up with him and we are hosting an event with him next Saturday, June 3rd. Um, and he like teaches a workout and um, it's really cool. It's not at Soul Beat. It's at um, Christ Valley of the Church. And if you guys are in the Philly area, I highly recommend to come because first off, it's an NFL player teaching the class. So that's really cool. And um, you guys can meet some of Soul Beat. I unfortunately will not be there. Um, I am so upset that I won't be there because I have been wanting this event to happen for so long. It's been like a few months in the making and I remember like when it first started, I was so excited for it, but I won't be there. I'll be in Florida. So I'm really sad that I will be missing it. But hopefully it goes well and hopefully he wants to do another or something. I don't know, but I won't be there. But um, it's still a really cool opportunity to get to know the Slopey family, to get to know um, 
an NFL player. I honestly don't know what the class is going to be like. He does these classes like now for charity, so I'm assuming they'll be like his normal classes. They won't be like a Soul B class, but we um, have teamed up with him, so I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was really awesome. All right, I just walked in the door from bar. Great bar class. I stayed a little bit longer after to, uh, I didn't do spin. I got into spin, even though it's on the wait list. But um, I was like, I'm just gonna hold off a little bit because I'm spinning tomorrow. I don't wanna tire myself out. And I was helping um, Shoshana with a few things for the event that I was telling you guys about. Sorry, this camera angle is horrible right now. Um, now that I'm home, I'm just going to upload my video. And because I literally have no food, I stopped at Qdoba to get some dinner. This is a burrito bowl, and I always get guac, corn, both beans, which is black and pinto, and brown rice, and that's all. And then I have these chips that I might eat with it. I don't know yet, but I'm just gonna upload my video and eat this. My dobo was bomb. Now I'm just going to sip on some kombucha. This is gingerberry synergy kombucha. My favorite kombucha is health aid. I think it is like so yummy. It just is the best in my opinion, but I also really love this brand too. It's like a very close second. The only thing that really makes um, health aid better than that one is the, um, the spout of it because it's like easier to drink. I like it more, but whatever. I have lunch crunch tomorrow at noon, so I am just making the playlist for it now. It's like a pretty full class tomorrow, so I am really excited about it. I love when I have full classes. It just makes it, like the vibe is always so much different with the full class than with the smaller class. So pretty excited that it's a fuller class tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Um, click right here to watch my last upload and then click right here to watch my last fitness vlog um but yeah love you guys so much subscribe and i'll talk to you in my next video